over the world, not to mention all of our sea creatures and all of the natural world we depend on, we have to make these changes. And they have to be strong. So there are, our public works department has come out with some outlines and we want to give our board of supervisors the courage and the strength to know that their community will stand behind them if we do something very, very strong. We want change. I do want to implore you today to stretch beyond your comfort zone in considering the recommendations put forth by our DPW to significantly reduce plastic pollution. Since you hear from me often, I will make just four succinct points that are not opinion, but held but to be true by scientists across the globe. Number one, plastics kill. We've all seen the disturbing pictures of wildlife who have died of starvation because their stomachs are filled with undigestible plastics or that have been entangled and strangled by plastic debris. Number two, plastics threaten human health. Numerous, numerous toxic chemicals and additives used in the production of plastics are carcinogens, neurotoxins, mutagens, endocrine disruptors, and obesogens. This is of concern because researchers believe we may be ingesting a credit card's worth of plastic every week. Number three, plastics contribute to global climate change. They emit greenhouse gases at every stage of their life cycle from fossil fuel extraction through resin and product manufacture and distribution to breakdown. Number four, plastic pollution costs billions. Estimates indicate that California communities alone spend 410 million of taxpayers' money per year to collect plastic waste. Our plastic crisis is really that serious. So now is the time to make hard decisions and take bold actions. Please go as far as you absolutely dare to act on the recommendations. Please continue to lead the way. Please protect what we love. Thank you.